Good morning, Lions, and happy Halloween. I'm Joey G. And I'm Bella Bayana. Thanks for watching SFTV3. Today is Wednesday, October 31st, Day B. Happy birthday to Peyton Blonkowski, Josh Hyman, and Annika Chaturveda. Well, it's Halloween. If you dressed up, make sure to enter the costume contest. Head over to the student gov table during all lunches to get your picture taken to enter. You could win gift cards and other spooky prizes. Fittingly, the fall blood drive is also today. If you signed up, make sure to report at your scheduled time. See Ms. Quirk if you have any questions. Are you taking advantage of college visits? A representative from Pitt Johnstown will be here at 11 a.m. Remember to keep checking Naviance and catch these great schools. In clubs, Underwater ROV will have their first meeting from 210 to 420. This club builds robots that compete in underwater competitions. See Mr. Garlic or Patrick Gannon if you cannot attend. Student government also has their usual meeting after school in the conference center. Join Governor Uracy and make our school a better place. The Geniuses and Quiz Bowl will also meet at 3.30 in Ms. Quirk's room. It's time to prepare for competition. Finally, there is Keystone Literature Tutoring at 2.15 in AC211. Show up and learn how to dominate this test. In sports, we have a new Whitfield champion. Your girls cross country team dominated the competition, winning their second straight title. Haley Poe, Gabby Baiano, and Lauren Ignema led the way with some incredible time. Great job, girls cross country. Staying in sports, the football playoff schedule has been announced. Your boys host Greenberg Salem this Friday at 7.30 at the stadium. This is the last home game of the year, so plan on attending. Well, it is Halloween and one club is helping out kids who may not be able to afford costumes. Random Acts of Kindness is holding a costume drive called Halloween Dreams where people can donate new or used costumes. The drive will end November 2nd and will go towards children in need. There's a box in the main lobby for the costumes. Looking at tomorrow, the class of 2019 senior picture will be taken during 10th period. Senior superlatives will also be photographed throughout that day, so seniors look your best. The Speech and Debate Club will meet in the Conference Center at 2 p.m. Finally, it's Powder Puff season. Meet on the elementary school field from 2.30 to 4.30. Other practices will be on the 5th and 7th, same time and place. That does it for your news. It's Halloween. Here's a spooky story. From that day on, the ghost of William Cuddy would haunt Cuddy Hill until the end of time. <gasps> Jay Lamb, bro, that was some scary stuff. Yeah, I think I need to change my pants. If you boys thought that was spooktastic, listen to this. All right, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Every winter, a beast arises from the pits of Sturgeon to come and feed on his deepest desires. Does he want treasure? What's he want? To eat kids? Even worse, he wants your coat. <gasps> he wants them all. Corduroy, pea coats, even varsity jackets. <gasps> Long ago, where Safed was filled with farms as far as the eye could see, where Mr. Ignema had hair. <gasps> yeah, actually had hair. You could like you no. could see hair on his head. There was a boy named Charles. His life was making coats. Charles loved the smell of a fresh coat. <sighs> Until one day, there was a fire in the coat factory. Charles couldn't stand to see his work destroyed, so he went back in for his coats for everything, but it didn't return. That day, Charles never walked out of that coat factory. Now, he comes back from the grave as the coat man, stealing coats, swallowing kids whole. To appease the beast, they set up the annual coat drive. So if you want to save your soul, donate your coats. That's complete hogwash. I ain't believe no coat man. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. 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 Yeah.